Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the parameterized pipe in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the pipes and we have seen how we use the pipe in Angular 15. So let's understand what is the meaning of the parameterized pipe. So parameterized pipe in the sense like we have to pass a parameter. So how we pass that parameter into a pipe. So to pass the parameter into a pipe, we use the colon keyword. Now for an example, if we have any data and if we have to use the pipe then pipe symbol, this is the pipe name and using the colon we pass the multiple parameter as we want. For an example, if I have a date on the date, I want to show the date in the short format, then date is the pipe, then colon, then short. Same goes for the currency like salary I want to show in the USD format. Then true is basically indicate, yes, we are showing in the USD format and this is the number basically like what it is trying to say is like till this number it will show that data. So now let's understand this uh, parameterized pipe using an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one variable DOB and I'm going to assign a new date and inside this one what I'm going to say is 01 and 04 pipe and here I'm going to say 1990 and now Let's save this one and now here see what it is showing. So here what I'm going to see, I'm going to show the DOB. Let's save this, see on the browser. Here we can see it is showing the full date. Whatever we have assigned, it is uh, giving the full format of that date. I want this in the, uh, like what I will say in the different, for, uh, like short format basically. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to see short date is then dob then we have to use the pipe and that is the date and i have to pass the parameter then we have to use the short now if you will save this let's go on the browser you will see short date is it's basically showing in the short format here you can see it is 90 1590 if you want to pass the another parameter to this one then you can pass like m then D, then YY. If you will save this, go on the browser, you will see in the different, like you can pass the multiple parameter using the column. So this is the way we show uh, the parameterized um, pipe in Angular. Now, for an example, if I will take another example of the salary and here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, like assign this value. Now let's see here what first let's see. So let's copy this, will not make any mistake, salary and put it here. And now if you will see, it will show okay, here. So let's put a BR, so we will see in the different line. So if I will go here, if you can see the amount is showing here. Now I want this amount in a particular format. So that I'm going to use. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the currency. So this currency I'm going to use and what is the currency I'm using as a USD. Now if you will save this and go on the browser, it is showing in the USD format. So this is the way like basically what we do, we are going to uh, like we can pass the parameter and according to that we can change it. Now if I will uh, assign the true value to this one and see on the browser, still it is showing the same way. So true trial like we are using this USD format. So this is the way basically we use the parameterized pipe in Angular 15. So what we have to do, we have to use the pipe symbol, then what kind of the uh, like pipe we are going to use. If you want to pass any parameter, just use the colon keyword and give that parameter. That's the way we use the parameterized pipe in Angular 15. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.